All right, guys, we got, <laughs> let's just say that every time the ocean sees a Freeman, it gets scared. And this is one of the Freemans that just barrels through everything. We're talking about the 42 foot Freeman, uh, the LR version, and we're here with an actual charter captain that's gonna go ahead and walk us from Hangem High. What's up, Clay, how are you? Doing good. Oh my goodness. Um, here at the Miami Boat Show 2020. I am ready. Can I jump aboard, Captain? Come aboard, buddy. All right, guys. Oh my God, all I have to say is I feel not just honored to be on this boat. You know why, guys? Because there's been thousands and thousands of pounds of fish right on this deck, and I love that. That gets me excited. These things are fishing beast. Tell okay. me about them, Clay. So this is the 42 LR, uh, a couple of specs on it. It's 42 foot long, 11.9 wide. And uh, this is the double row seating configuration for this boat. As you can see, we've got beautiful pompinette seats with the teak ladder backs. And uh, this boat holds 800 gallons of fuel. That's what LR stands for. It stands for long range. 800 so, gallons? 800 gallons of fuel. So you got quad 350 Suzuki's on this bad boy. Tell me what made you decide to go ahead and get those 350s on this particular boat. So we put 350s on it uh, really due to the fact of the counter-rotating props. Having twin props on each motor gives us a ton of bite and uh, they've done really, really well for us. Great handling, maneuverability around the dock. You know, when this boat's fully loaded, it can weigh up to 20,000 pounds and having all that bite in the water mm -hmm. really gives us uh, the best control of the boat possible both around the dock and while running offshore. I see you got some live wells here. Tell me a little bit about those. So these are our two main transom wells. Uh, they're about 50 gallons a piece. And uh, as you can see, they have the, uh, the ocean blue paint in them to help keep our bait happy. And then in the floor, we also have wells. So these wells are 70 gallons and they're also fully plumbed. Uh, they're incredible wells, they do a good job. And uh, we have those on both sides. So is there a reason that you want to, you don't want to mix and match baits or is there a particular reason why you guys have we, that like that? We try not to mix and match baits. It'll really help your bait stay alive longer if you can kind of keep them separate. You know, whether you have thread fins, goggle eyes, trying to keep all your baits separate will, will really maximize the longevity of your bait. And also if you ever needed to have something, you had something happen, like you have a pump go down, you can switch your bait to another well. Uh, and then, you know, you can continue to have live bait. Whereas, you know, if you only have one well, one pump, you have an issue or something like that, you know, you can run into trouble. And these are also insulated fish boxes, our floor wells. As you can see, it's dry right now. Mm -hmm. We can valve it to where no water comes in. Okay. Uh, we use them as fish boxes a lot. I mean, we put 40 pound cobia, you know, you can curl them, they're circular wells. Uh, you can put a lot of big fish in them. We put a lot of mahis and tunas in them. So uh, when we're tuna fishing, it's very nice because we can bleed our black fins in the live well and we can go straight to the floor box instead of having to walk all the way up to the front where our main fish boxes are in the coffin box. Well, you know, you're, you're obviously one of these diehard fishermen and you get paid to be on the water and you're a charter co company, right? So, so you need to be comfortable and be able to get to where the action is fast and keep your clients happy. And, and let's be real, right? Like, you want to make sure you get, you get back. Oh yeah, for you, sure. You know, so tell me a little bit about the trust that you've you've created with this Freeman while you've had it. We've had thousands. We have thousands of hours on Freemans. I have two forty twos and I have a thirty seven as well. Uh, we've done thousands of trips on our Freemans and uh, been very successful. We fished them in tons of big weather. We're uh, based out of Crystal River, Florida, so we're an hour north of Tampa on the Gulf Coast. We make long runs. We run a hundred miles one way almost every day to the middle grounds. So when you start talking about making a run that long, you want to do everything you can to keep your clients comfortable and safe. And, uh, and this boat really does it. And of course, having you know a really solid fuel capacity and fuel range with these motors lets us run as far as we need to. Well, let's not be modest here. You've been like on 35 shows. You've been on Deer Meat for Dinner, Blue Gabe, all those guys. We've seen you do what you do with those guys. So let's go up uh, towards the helm and we can talk about this area over here. Gotcha. So this boat has the XL hardtop. It's the largest hardtop that Freeman offers. It provides shade for all six of the seats and uh, does very, very well for that. It, we have the underside of the hardtop done black to help reduce the glare. 
that you could possibly have uh, from the reflection off the water. And uh, it's, it's really the best configuration we've done yet. Like I said, this is my third Freeman and uh, I would say we most definitely got it right on this one. Not that any of our other boats have been wrong, but having the ability to, to seat six people under the hard top is, is really a, a nice comforting factor uh, for this boat. Well, there's no substitute for experience, right? So you've been on, you said thousands of hours on these boats and you're like, hey, I want to tweak this, I want to tweak that. And at the same time, that lets the people know uh, at Freeman, hey, the, our, our customers are asking for this. And speaking of Freeman, I mean, not too long ago, I saw Freeman in front of the White House. You how, did, you did. How cool was that, huh? Yeah, Scott and Billy, they had their, they had Billy's 34 up there. Uh, for the, uh, I believe that was the uh, Made in America. Yes. Uh, that, I mean, all these boats are made in Charleston, South Carolina. Billy is a really awesome down-to-earth guy that has really built an amazing product. And Billy is an innovator. As you'll see, you know, if you look back from the first Freeman, which I had the pleasure to ride in the very first Freeman built, which was owned by Mike Ellis in Venice, Louisiana, uh, the first Freeman I ever rode in was hole number one. And that was really what kind of sparked our interest in the boats. Interesting. We, we ordered a boat in 2015 and took delivery in 16. And that was uh, kind of where we started with the Freeman process. So when you're working, what is it that you like up here at the helm? Tell me what, you, what we got going on here. And obviously there's a lot of custom stuff that we're using Suzuki's on this particular boat, but they, if they want to go Mercury or any other brand, they can. Yeah, Mercury, Yamaha, uh, all of them. These are all electronic switches. Uh, as you can see, electronic push button switches to control everything. We just actually just turn on the down lights right there above the camera, uh, underneath here. And then we can change color. You push the switch a, a second time and it'll change the color to red. Push the blue. switch a third time, going to blue. So just stuff like that, little features. Having the switches right here where they're readily available and having them backlit so you can read them in the dark. Uh, we do a lot of stuff in the dark. We have the Optimus 360 joystick. And uh, with those 350s, this is a dream. They say- oh, It moves. Yeah, they it like moves. that. It bites, it gets it, you know, you can just work it. Yep, this boat is complete with a uh, JL Audio over the top package from Freeman. So when you go to Freeman to build your boat, you'll see they have three different stereo options. The over the top package is uh, their biggest package for this boat. And, and the stereo really gets it. It, it. it makes for a lot of fun, especially if you want to go to the sandbar, have a good time. You know, maybe you're not out fishing, you just want to go riding, you can crank up the tunes and uh, it's well, nice just to go relax and enjoy yourself on the boat. Well, as a content creator, there's, there's a lot of uh, content creators that are fishermen on YouTube. Popular guy down in uh, Isla Mirada, Nick Stanzik, uh, he's a sword uh, fisherman and he has a Freeman as well. Yep. And he those is a 37. He just got a second one. So the 37 Freeman and those guys are, 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 are trusting the product and they love the product, guys. And uh, what's the build time on these right now? I mean, because you guys are getting flooded with, uh, with, with people wanting these things. I mean, are, how backed up are you guys? So Freeman right now is about 24 months behind, about two years. So if you order a boat, depending on which size boat you order, will depend on exactly how long your lead time is. Uh, they offer the 34 the 37, the 42, and then they just at Miami debuted the new 47 tournament edition. So uh, there's really, I would, I, I don't know the lead time on the 47. I know there's already quite a few people that have spots in line. Maybe you, it, uh, maybe you. I, ha I have a couple deposits coming up. <laughs> so there's a real possibility you could see us in a bigger one. Oh God, guys over here, the Freeman people, hang them high. So let's walk uh, towards the bow and tell me a little bit about there. So the bow is centered by the coffin box. Uh, this is a two box single piece unit. Okay. So provides very nice seating on top with the pomponet armrest and backrest. It's gonna give you the same feel as sitting in one of the pomponet seats that are behind the helm. If you open up the box right here, you're gonna see it's a split box. So two separate lids, two separate boxes. It allows us to keep stuff separate. Uh, you know, we do long trips, we're bringing a lot of food, a lot of drinks. We use half the coffin box to mm -hmm. get food and drinks in. Uh, you know, just having the ability to not have just one massive box uh, really helps us out a lot. You know, so we would normally put fish in one side. We actually normally put fish in this side. We'll put drinks in the other. And uh, that's what we do for our charters. We also, of course, have full rod holder systems all the way around the coffin box on either side. Uh, so if we're doing something in the back of the boat, we can move stuff up forward and uh, give us a little extra room back there. Guys, look at this fishing space up here, man. This is sick. 
I mean, you have so much area to fish here. I mean, how many people would you say can comfortably, uh, you know, something's popping off, you guys are just getting lit, uh, all your baits are in the water, you guys got a run coming in. How many people can fish here comfortably that you've, you've seen? So we, our, all of our charters are six pack charters. So you have six clients and you have a captain and a crew. You got eight people running around this boat as fast as you can. Uh, on a couple of our family trips, we've had 10, 12 people on this boat fishing. And, and we've never had a problem where we felt like we were uh, running out of space. But you need the, 50, the 47 now, right? Hey, maybe, maybe. It's hard to say no, right? <laughs> These are also insulated fish boxes. All of Freeman's insulation is, is top of the line. Uh, these boxes hold ice for days. So we've been super happy with them. Going back towards the stern from there, on each side we have very large storage hatches. I say very large. Oh my goodness. Wait a when second. I get down in it, I'm six foot two and I'm standing in it and I can lay down in this box at six foot two. That is nice. So it's, it's really an awesome deal to, to be able to have that much room and that much storage. Getting out of them is a little exciting sometimes. That is awesome, let me tell you. I mean, so, 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 so you're a charter captain, right? And, and let's, let's, uh, let's talk about the decision making on your end, because I'm, I'm sure there's going to be one or two or 2000 charter captains that are saying, Hey, you know what? I might want a Freeman. And the reason why is because of this, what advice would you give some of those guys, those, those guys that have, you know, six pack, you know, licenses, captain licenses to put guys on the water to fish. What would you, what advice would you give them knowing what you know now? I can tell you the reason why we went with Freeman, the reason why we went with Suzuki is all based really around longevity. There's no way that you're going to go buy a 42 foot boat brand new at any of these boats. We're at the Miami Boat Show. There's dozens of different 42s. But to buy a boat that I know will last 10 or 15 years at minimum as a charter captain, we put 2,000 hours a year on these boats. You know, Finding a company that builds a boat that's made to run 20, 30, 40,000 hours in its career before it really needs any sort of major overhaul is, is really a big accomplishment nowadays. And Billy is a hardcore fisherman. If you've seen the Freeman story online, uh, you know it's very clear Billy is a fisherman. And that's really been the biggest part of it. This, build, this boat is built for fishermen, by fishermen, and it's, it's really made to be a tough piece of machinery. As much as you look at it, and it's so elegant and sleek and pretty, it is made to be a workhorse, and that's why we own them. That's awesome. You know, I think uh, longevity, is, it says it all, you know, and you're, you're, you're running a business and you got to turn a profit. No, it is. That's yeah. the truth of it. Yeah, absolutely. That's what, exactly what it is. So, um, is, is there is there an option to put, put a head in these? I mean, some people, I mean, obviously, diehard fishermen, they don't really care about a head, right? Well, <laughs> But, but so we, we have a head in both of our boats. This okay. boat is actually, uh, uh, we are replacing the head in it. We're actually moved it out of the center console. Okay. We're gonna have it in that box that you just saw me standing up in. Okay. So that although you won't be completely in a private area, you'll be able to have, like if a lady's using the restroom, she'll be able to have her head in open air. You know, the upper half of your body will be in the open air so you won't feel that you're in a confined space. A catamaran doesn't have a deep cabin, of course, because the tunnel is right under our feet. So where I'm standing, mm -hmm. there's six inches of deck and then you're in the tunnel. Yeah. So you don't have the opportunity for a walk-in, stand-up style head. But also trying to keep, you know, to where somebody that isn't going into a confined space where they could possibly become seasick is really a, a solid option for people. And that's why we're actually, uh, we're going to be the first guys to be moving the head out of the center console and into the floor box. That is the 34 Freeman right there. That is the 34. Can we open that storage area so they can see how much room they would have there for storage? In the center console? Yes, please. Yes. So, so guys, so, so there's storage here and you got your, your panel there. So you can go ahead and put a lot of your safety stuff or whatever you're using. Um, as far as life jacket storage, actually, we did, we started doing this. We have our life jackets behind this piece of canvas here. So, okay, great. Yeah. So right there's in, a, right a little cavity there. in there. Yep. So our life jackets are actually on deck, readily available. You rip that canvas off, you have your life jackets. We hope that we never need them, but if you ever do, you want to be able to get to them. And our other piece of safety equipment that's readily available also is our life raft. If you can pan up there, you'll see it above the hard top. That's in a hard case. And uh, that life raft has got a hydrostatic release on it so it can pop off of there uh, in any sort of inclement situation. 
So let's just say right now, we'll give you a plug, right? So hang them high. If somebody wanted to go fishing with you and uh, jump on your boat, where do they have to reach you at? So if you look, if you go online and search H-E-H fishing, or uh, that, that's one way to get in touch with us. You can find us on social media, hang them high sport fishing on uh, Instagram and Facebook. And uh, we're pretty easy to find. If you Google hang them high sport fishing, you're going to find us. We're based out of Chris River, Florida. And uh, this is just one of our, our seven boats that we use. Where would they go for Freeman if they wanted to jump on the Freeman website? Where would they go for Freeman? Freeman Boatworks. Freeman Boatworks, guys, out of South Carolina, American made. And uh, just so I get a lot of views, just let's say this was the boat that's in front of the White House. Just let's pretend. Let's yeah. Say, hey, this is the one. This is the exact one. This is the one. This is the one, guys. This is, hang them high. Clay, we're out of here, guys. Over here, 2020 Miami Boat Show, Freeman in the house. Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do.